Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to TC's Model Workshop. I'm going to apologise. It's been a while since I've done a video again. Uh, sadly, I've been not so well uh, in and out of the doctors and hospital and stuff like that. Um, but seem to be on the mend now, so that's good. Finally getting a bit of time on the focus again. Now, if you remember in the last video I posted, uh, I was struggling to fill in the uh, the panel lines and stuff like that. Uh, after talking to quite a few different model builders online, basically it turns out from what we can guess is that I put the paint on slightly too thick. Um, this has in turn uh, basically stopped the paint from sticking to those those areas and it's just it's just not going to stick. So sadly that means I am now in the process of destroying that lovely paintwork uh, by flattening it down with some thousand grit sandpaper. And then following it on with some uh, 3000 Trizac ready to be reprimed and repainted and everything else. Now, I hate doing this with a lovely paint job like I got on there, but it's definitely not, it's not going to look right if it's got bright highlights where there should be shadows. So what I've done is I have flattened it as you can see here, and then I've made it as smooth as possible uh to get the to get the car basically back to a nice standard ready for for painting again um with this i actually managed to find some slightly uh prominent mold lines so i got rid of those while i was doing this because there was only just just showing through the paint essentially um so i've actually got gonna have a better finish overall uh but this time what i'm doing is i'm using a black base a black primer and then a gloss black over the top uh, which sadly I haven't got a video of at the moment, but the black is on, ready to be processed again like this, so I've got to sand that back down again now. Um, that's going to get us uh, some slightly easier options with the... Uh, the, the I apologise, stuttering. It'll get me a nice black base around those door shuts and edges, which it has covered nicely already which means that when I do put the blue back over it, it's going to have a slightly darker tint to it, which actually turns out is more accurate to the real cars, uh, judging by a test piece that I've done. So we're going to go over it with the, the blue again, but now it's going to have a black base, so you're not going to get those highlights on the door edges and stuff like that as well. So even if I do go slightly too thick, it's still going to be dark in there. Um, but no, we should be good. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to this still. Slightly frustrated because... You know, once you painted a model, you don't want to strip the paint off it or flat the paint back off of it. You know, I spent a lot of time and effort getting that looking as good as it was uh, to then have to redo it. You know, getting into all these little crevices all around the bumper holes and stuff like that. Absolute nightmare. Now, my arm doesn't actually move that fast. I have got this sped up, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's just taking your time with it, getting it all nice and smooth again. And then hopefully it saves me having to try and strip the paint off it because stripping the paint off of models... I don't know what you guys in America use, but in the UK, uh, we can't get this purple power that you guys seem to use. Everything I've ever used before seems to make the body go sort of brittle and not have the nicest of, uh, of paint finishes afterwards. So I'd rather stick with what I know, which is sanding delicately and being careful around those edges and any like smaller parts of the body that you don't want to lose the detail from. But no, it's definitely coming on nicely and... I'm I'm genuinely I've really enjoyed this so far. I'm just I'm gutted that I'm I've been ill, which has made everything sort of go on hold for at least three weeks, unfortunately. Um But like I say, we're on the mend now, so we should have some more videos coming up soon. And uh this one's gonna switch into a now that I've finished sanding video, after I've cleaned it all off, rinsed it, and dried it. So here we go, look. As you can see, lots of flatted through areas, lots of highlighted areas. This is now ready for a black primer and a black paint. So hopefully I'll have another video soon for you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see some more. And I'll catch you all on the other side. Thanks guys. Bye bye.